Hello and welcome to another Age of Sigmar Battle Report. The murderous Eidneth Didkin return, but this time they're up against the dreaded Gloom Spite Gits in a 1500 point battle. If you like the content, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now saddle up and get ready for this mounted menagerie of madness. Let's check out the armies and get this underway. So here we have the Eidneth Didkin again, slightly more painted this time. We've got paint on every part of the models apart from these guys on the back. Okay, so same as last time, we have unit of two units of Australian Guard. This one is modeled as Morsar Guard, but they're actually Australian Guard. We have one unit of Morsar Guard. We have three Achillean Alopexes at the back, and the live Leviathan at the at the very back there. Command trait: He has Hunter of Souls, which lets him re-roll wound rolls of one. And his artifact is Armor of Kaithai, which will subtract one from the hit rolls of um, enemies in melee. And that is 1500 points of Eidneth Deep Kin. So here we have 1500 points of Squigglies. And what do we have? The dreaded Gloom, bite, gloom Spite Gits. So we've got a Mangler Squig Moon Boss. Mangler Squig Moon Boss. Is the general with the command traits Fight Another Day. Use the 2D Sinks move after he fights in combat. Ooh. And here's the Clammy Cow, which is a minus one to hit him with all attacks. How cool does he look? And we've got two loon bosses on giant squigs here. Yep. The one with the red has the amulet of destiny, which is a five plus ward save. Yep. Two units of reinforced point got bounders. Yeah. Ten and each. There. Yep. Some squeak hoppers. Squeak hoppers at the back. And two units of squeak loads. Look at these guys. And we've got these Pokey in sticks. a warlord battalion and a. The three squeak riding units will be in a Hunters of the Heartlands battalion as well. Cool. And then we have the awesome shrine at the back and obviously a moon. A bad moon. <laughs> so that's the opponents for Eidneth Deepkin. We're going to get straight into the battle. So the mission we are playing for today is Power Struggle. We have five objectives. One there, one over there, one in the middle, and then two mirroring the other side just here. So each player scores victory points at the end of each of their turns as follows. Score one victory point if you have controlled at least one objective for two of your turns consecutively. Score one victory point if you have controlled two or more objectives for two of your turns consecutively. Score one victory point if you control more objectives than your opponent. Score two victory points if you completed the battle tactic you picked that turn. And the grand strategy is Obviously, we score three victory points at the end of the battle if you complete the grand strategy. Okay, so deployment here we have these. Which which ones are these guys? Squigs. Squigs hiding behind that over there. Then we have squeak hoppers. Squeak hoppers, and these are the nut. got founders. Yep. Lean boss on. Lean boss in the back there. Squeak. And then behind here we have another unit of the Boing Grot bounders, and then the boss there. Which which one has the this one has the relic. Yeah, that one over there has the relic. And then you've got your general back here with another unit of squig, um, herd. squig herders. So that's the one there with the other relic. And then on the other side, in the Deepkin, we have an Alopex here on this flank. We have these are a Shailen Guard, another a Shailen Guard in the front there, the Leviathan in the middle, Alopex behind him, Morsar Guard on the very side. And of course, on the very, very flank there, we have another Alopex uh, with my king right there next to the Leviathan. So that's the deployment. We're going to get into turn one um, and it's going to be the Eidnus Deepkin first because we had less drops and we are going to take the first turn because we want to get a few shooting attacks off before the squigs get to us with our sharks. So let's go into turn one for the Eidneth Deepkin. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take Beastmaster, is it? Yep. So our Leviathan turtle has to stay alive at the end of it, and you're gonna take... Sever the head, which cause... means no enemy heroes at the end of the battle. It's a good one to pick, because I only have uh, one Akelian King here, so he's been upgraded with a paint drop. So yeah, that's our grand strategies. Um, for the strategies, uh, for the command points, we have two for me, because I'm going first, and three for the um, Gloom Spike Gits. So I'm going to take aggressive expansion for my battle tactic and I'm going to pick uh, objective number three there and objective number one. So it should be pretty easy for me to take both of those and that's an easy two points. So hero phase, uh, we're just going to, both of us are going to try and get another command point for our general. 
I did not because he sucks at that. I did. You did. <laughs> Sneaky grots. Known be, how it is. That will be on my uh, general. The general back yeah. there. Okay, so movement. First thing I'm going to do is this Alopex is going to move just up to here. We can get some shots off over there. And this Alopex is also going to do the same. She's going to move up to here. Still holding that objective, but moving up so he can get some shots off because they were just out of range. Okay, so to get my Leviathan in range of shooting, I need to get him to there. So we're just going to move him up to there and all the eels just around him in the same formation. Alrighty, so we have moved up all of these eels and uh, the turtles. And these, the and Guard here, are within six of that. So we're holding that objective. Now we're just going to move this last Alopex up. Fallen off. Let's move up to here. And the king into this space here. All right, so I did just shuffle things around a bit because I'd forgotten uh, to move the Morsar guard. Um, so we have the Alopex there, um, all in range and line of sight to shoot these grots here. So let's go to shooting. So let's start with, I think I'm going to pick on the Boeing Grot Bounders. I feel like they're the nastiest. So this Alopex here is going to go into that unit right there. So... Okay, so you're going to all out defense on the Boeing Grot Bounders there, which is really good idea because they're kind of the only unit in fully in range. Uh, four, uh, threes to hit. Yes, re-rolling ones from within 12. Okay, one hit, not a great start. Does wound though. So it's a negative one rend. Okay, so four plus. It's it's five. Five. Um, now we're going to go with this Alopex here into those Boingro Boing same, ones. same ones, yeah. Yep. Just there. So this guy against those guys. So another four re-rolling ones again. That's a bit better because we get to re-roll those. So three hits. And no re-rolls on that. So two wounds, negative one rend. One so dies. So one dies because they have two wounds each. Okay, and now we have this Alopex, which I am going to do now. He's going to shoot into this unit, mm -hmm. Boeing Got Bounders. Um, I do not get the re-rolls on this one, I don't think. Didn't roll any ones anyway. Um, all wounds, so three hits, negative one, so fives now. So, so one another dies. one die. From this guy into those guys. And finally, um, the Leviathan. And so I was, just, I was just checking if the uh, unit over there was in range, but it's not. So the Leviathan into those Boing Grot bounders. That's a mouthful. So eight dice. So hitting on threes, re rolling ones. Oh, that was a good roll. All hit. Come on, we need that for the wounds. Yeah, pretty bad. Wow. wow, that was really bad. Only two out of those eight dice wounded. Okay, one round? Yep, minus one round. Four ups. Nothing. Nothing. All right, so that is all of my shooting, which also concludes um, the end of Iden the Deepkin turn one. Okay, so um. we need to do some... Um, Battle shock here. These guys are immune to it because they're within the range within of the shrine. Yep. However, those guys over there are not. So they they might run away, some of them. It's just one dice. Plus the amount of casualties. So four, you're fine. That's fine. The movement for, hold on, before that we need to do hero. <clears throat> hero I'm first. gonna try and get another command point. Another command point. Um, and you need to choose your your strategy. Yes. Ah, so we're gonna so do I'm gonna do the same strategy yep. as you. Um, um, go for it. So you're gonna need a command point. Four plus, yep. Yep. So, and same for on. me. Yeah, I get one. He's not going to be able to use it, but yeah. So that's on the, the that's boss on over there. This boss over here. Not this one, this one. That one there, the little one, yep. And he's going to use his free command ability from that. Yep. To do, let's get bouncing. Get bouncing, boys. And which is all units within 12 inches of the squigs. Um, get an extra three inches of movement. 
and your tactic is going to be the same as mine, aggressive is, expansion. You're going to be choosing uh, objective five right there and objective, and objective two. two right there. Um, with that in mind, also you're going to we'll score at the end of both of our turns. I'll catch that up. So these uh, boing grot bounders here are going to move first, and uh, a plus three, you said. Yep. So, so two, we move two d six. Two d six. So it's twelve. Nine, twelve, 12 inches. right. Just there, so they are pretty close to um, the Alopex and the uh, Shailen Guard there. Um, the boss is going to move up as well. The boss, yep. Only... Not quite speedy, so Does he get his plus three as well? Every, yeah, nine. All of them. Is that within 12? Yep. Yeah. Now this big boy. Yep. He moves 3d6 at the moment. Ooh. So I'm assuming he moves less depending on the amount of wounds he's got. And, this wound and then he off. gets better again. Yeah, he gets better. He gets more angry as he gets... Well, that's not the greatest, but 12. So he's going to... Go in behind. So he's, he's a little bit further back, so he's probably... Yeah, he's probably not going to be charging this turn. Just... Yeah. Um, okay. They're going to move their 2d6. Four. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the world of playing the glimpse like it's. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a tactical advance. Hmm, so seven, they're a bit sleepy over this side. They're not revved up from their uh, crazy moon shrine. That's the problem. The squeak hopper is here. The squeak hopper is there. They move three d six. Okay. They go twelve. Twelve. Yeah, reasonable. It's a nice average roll. Now, I'm assuming you're going to have those two little units of squeak herders to hold the just objectives. Sit back just there sit back. and do some music. Yep. Um, okay, so that is a movement done, and you do not have any shooting, funnily enough. <clears throat> so apart from some like uh, verbal insults that you're throwing our way. Let's see if we can charge. Okay, so these uh, boing, boing grot bounders. bounders. Uh, ooh, you, get, you, you get a nine, nine inches, nine roughly. Inch. Yep. Yep. See if we can get a nine. Yeah. Double we're gonna, we're gonna command point that one. Command point reroll. Yep. So we're down to change one. the dice, which you, I just saw you did. Ten, yes. you get it. Okay, so that is going to affect my chances of holding that one probably for a second turn, but that's okay. Um, and I, I don't even think these guys are in, man. No, Those no, two no, guys no, here, no. they're not in. So uh, a, a charge over here. With the squeak hoppers, or is it just not worth it? I don't think it's worth it. It's like 11. And if you do, we'll anyway. if you overextend, I mean, yeah, it's, it's risky. But you're playing squeaks. Seven, so they don't make it. So the only... Okay, uh, so the boing grot bounders, when they finish their charge, I roll the dice for each model in a unit. On a four plus, you take a mortal wound. All right. So just there's here. nine left. So just here. Ooh, so... Three. three mortals on him. And um, I don't have any saves for that, so he's going to go down to five wounds. I'll put that tracker on in a second. Okay, so we're back. He is taking um, the three mortal wounds here, and he's piled in with his Boing Grot Bounders. Now, I did check. Um, this Alopex is within the Leviathan's bubble, so he's going to get plus one to his saves for a three plus save. So you're going to use a command point for all that attack? Uh, no. I'm going to do it for Bite the Moon. Pick one unit you know, with this ability, which is him, this unit, which is wholly within 18. Yep. Add one to wound rolls. Okay, I am going to spend one for all out defense right here. Um, so actually, I'm going to do all out attacks because I already get plus one wound. Um, all right, go ahead and make your attacks. How many attacks do you have? Okay, so these all are right. with the poking lances. So with all out attack, they're going to, and because they charge, they're going to. Hit on threes, wound on threes. Okay. Yeah, minus one range. So I mean, it doesn't sound very threatening, poking lances. <laughs> well, <no. laughs> but, I mean, let's see how they go. So threes and threes. Threes and threes. Yeah, it's like pretty average. Okay. Now, threes to wound and you're re-rolling. Oh no, you just get a plus one, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So that's why they're threes. That's why they're threes. I mean, there's the goblins. This is like the creme of the crop goblins too, right? These are the, the king. The best. All right, so how many is that? That is eight. Eight, and I have two plus saves on this. Minus no. one. Minus one, so three plus. Three plus. Okay, so these are saving on threes. Um, okay, so how many wounds are they doing each? There's one. There's one. So that's three wounds. 
So he goes down to two wounds. Freeze and freeze the ends with squeak, 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 I could do it. I need to make six of these to live. Oh yeah, <laughs> did it. So I only take one wound, which means it goes down to one, which I actually thought I was gonna be dead by then. Um, so that's that, and I actually get to hit you back, which I'm very surprised about. <laughs> um, you are gonna take that objective off me though, because you've got a lot more um, units, point strength than I do. All right, so these don't degrade for the Alipax, obviously, because it's only got eight wounds. Um, so I have six attacks with the guys on top. It's just three plus to hit, three plus to wound. Uh, do not get re-rolls because um, I'm outside of my 12 inches. Um, but you know what? It's always like that. I don't really need it when I roll like that. Um, and threes. Wow, five. Uh, there's no rend on this. Four ups. Ooh, so one and a half. One and a half. So one dies and we've got one wound on another one. Which one do you want me to take off? Uh, just one. Just one, there. one at the back? This guy here he bites the dust. He's boinged his last bounce. Oh, <laughs> and I'll stick that one in a sec. Okay, so the ferocious bite gets an extra attack, so for four attacks because the um the grots have been wounded. Um so we're looking for threes. All hit, and now I do get to re-roll ones because I'm Futan. Is there only one you charge? That's just always. Um, okay, so two at, this is at minus two rent, two it's damage like... each. Ooh, so another one goes down. So he uses another one, which we're just going to take another one at the back there. And we're going to stick a wound on one of these grots. Not that one? That one's fine. Yeah, that's still in currency. Um, okay, so now we're going to do some battle shock for you. Because you lost two. So you want to roll that three again. Four, five, six, so it's going to be another one from Battle Shock, yeah? yeah? Just move the one closest to here. Um, to this side. And you, you, you lose the, the wounded one, right? Side. This one. Yeah. Oh, the black one. one. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, and you can take the wounded one off, so yeah. this is now gone. And that is the end in total of, of turn two for of turn one for both of us. Now, we are going to score some victory points. We've got to do that before. So, so we, both two. we both scored two because we haven't held for two turns and we both succeeded in our um, tactic. Going into turn two, and now we have the big priority roll. All right. So are you going to take the turn? Damn right I am. Yeah. Unfortunately, I really wanted that one to get another round of shooting, but that's fine. Um, okay. So it's going to be uh, Gloom Spike Gits. So Turn two, two. Command points, starting I get another three, so that goes up to four. I'm going to try to get another one. Yep. Four up. Yep. Do get another one. So I'm going to try and get a command point, which is probably going to be irrelevant. He's just warming up. He doesn't get doesn't it. Um, okay. Alright, so now we're going to, does the, does the moon move? Does that even the matter? The moon moves. On a one, it does nothing. On a two to four, it'll move into that quarter. Six, it'll move into the middle. Moves, moves into, this into this quarter here, so it's actually in the middle of that quarter. So just stick it on top of that objective, I reckon. Wah, 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 wah. Right there, because that's basically the middle of the quarter. Come on, it's coming for you. Does that your... do it? What does it do for you? I know it helps you with magic, but does it help you with anything else? Um, tactic for this turn is he's going to try and destroy this uh, Australian Guard ranks. unit. Broken yeah. ranks. So he's going to take them out, and he'll get an extra two uh, victory points. So hopefully, uh, my armor saves can hold up. Okay, so you can spend a command point over here, and that's the one that you generated for free from that guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be basically these two units like an extra three and, you inches. Know, extra three inches. Even though you can run and charge, but you know. But I want to get into them, so I don't want to roll triple one. Yeah, fair enough. Are you gonna are you gonna run as well? Yeah. Because you, you can with the moon there. Yeah. So what is it gonna be so it's who do you wanna go for first? Oh it's the whole oh, I'm gonna do this guy first. Yeah, so you can add an extra D6 because you're running. So it's 46. Plus three. Plus three. Uh, you, you should be fine. <laughs> so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Still good enough. So you could still fail it. <laughs> uh, unlikely, but you could. This guy will run up as well. Yep. 
Ooh. So that's nine. It's still going to be good enough. That's three, still 12. Yep, to there. And over here. These guys are going to... So they can't run a charge, right? Because they're not under the moon, but it no. doesn't really matter. But they're still moving forward. Ooh, five. <laughs> that's not great. They could, I mean, once again, they're pretty far up the board, but they could fail. This guy. These guys. Ooh. Well, they did have a slow start. Oh, it's just that one guy. <laughs> kind of wanted that for the unit, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Nine. Nine's not bad. Yeah, you're swinging around the side, huh? Okay, so, and the the herders at the back are just going to... They're just going to chill. Just going to chill and hold objectives. Yep. Okay, It'll be all important charge rolls. So let's do the charge rolls for so this is three inches. the general here. Roll a double one for me. No, you're yeah, fine. Right. So far in it. You want to go around or you, you don't want to bring the turtle in, do you? It's going to go over here. Yep, that's fair. I wouldn't bring the turtle in. Uh, and then this guy, come on. He gets there too, just yes. in the front. Um, now over here, are you going to charge over here with these um, guys? You just want to hold off. The problem is charging in, obviously I get to hit you, so sometimes it's a bit risky. Yeah. It does pin me back though. It might be worth charging with one of them. I'm going to charge with just this. The guys at the front, yeah. yeah. Not good unit, we'll try anyway. The squeak hoppers? Five, doesn't, I don't think that, that doesn't make it. Okay, and you're not going to bother with the other guys at the back? They're too far off. Too far off, yep. And it's probably safer not to. At that point you're kind of like, yeah. All right, so we've just got uh, combat over here to resolve. Who do you want to fight with first? Now, you've got three units to pick from here. The Mangler Squid. You're definitely going to pick the Mangler Squid. You don't want to try and finish off my guy first. I'll be fine. Okay, you're gonna, so you're going to go with the Mangler Squid first. Squig. Mangler Squid. Yes. <laughs> that sounds like something out of Cthulhu. <laughs> uh, let's see. HB Lovecraft would be proud. I mean, I think he'd be proud of Squigs in general. Look at them. That's definitely something out of my nightmares. So he's got five attacks. So my general has a minus one to hit for everything. Okay. Is it because of the chains and stuff flailing around, is it? No, he's, he's got the clammy cow. Oh, the clammy cow. Okay. So he has a moon cutter. Yep. So these are... Okay, let's go over here and do it. Threes and fours. Uh, one miss, pretty good. Yeah, fours. So one Ooh, one, yep. What? It doesn't matter about the no rend. rend. So what I have a rend? three plus. That saves, so nothing. So that was a guy on top, wasn't it? Hmm? That was a guy on top, <laughs> wasn't it? Okay, so that, <laughs> this is the scary one now, the actual squeak. So a huge fang field gob, so four attacks. Yep. Hitting on threes, winning on threes. Uh, Three. One miss, three is pretty good, winning on threes. All wound. Alright, so. Mine's on rain, doesn't matter for you. Rain doesn't matter for me. So, D6 it. damage. Alright, so one. That's not bad. Six. Six. Damage. So, that's uh, one dead, and another one takes a wound, and I'm going to take it off. I'll just take this guy off. And I will mark that in a second. Three is plus one because charge, they're hitting on twos. Oof. It's good that it was hitting on twos. Six. Winning on threes. Oh no. Just one. Abysmal. Um, doesn't matter about rend. I did fail it though. So D3 damage. D3. Oh, you Just didn't take one. it out. Only, only one, so he's still alive. And then we got Grot Bashing's ticks. So these bashing's fours and fours. Oh, come on, Grots. Don't do it. One. You're not gonna you're not gonna wound. Yes. So I am and alive, now, right? Oh no, he's still I get more. to move two D6 inches. Oh of course, right. 10 inches. Ten Where inches. are you going to run away to? Um, and you have to you have to stay outside of three. So he's moving 10 inches. And he can fly, so he's just going to go all the way over there and hide away for later. All right, now it's my turn to pick. And I I think that I can live over here with these Ashalan Guard. That's their job. But I'm pretty sure this Alopex will die. So the Alopex is, gonna, is going to attack. So it's a six attacks with the guys on top. I all that defense. Okay. Yes, I should have all that defense over there. I forgot about that. Um, I do get the reroll. Oh no, I don't. I do get the reroll. Oh no. So two, two. No rend on these ones. Three ups. These are the guys on top. 
one so wound. One wound so which, one. yeah, one's on one wound. And now I get four attacks with the bites again because you've taken wounds. Uh, that does, so three hits. And three at minus two. So fives. Man, you're rolling well for Just those. One. So it's two damage. So, so kill one, um, one's on one. Kill one and one's on one. This one guy, this guy fine? Uh, Still surrounding me. Yeah. Yeah, and one guy's on one wound, which we will mark. Um, okay, so now you can fight with the your boss here, which is probably what we want to do, all those guys. So you might want to fight with your boss. Yep. Fives. So we need, we need threes, so four hits. Fours to the wound. Um, you know what, he's going to use his mad cap. Okay. So he can re-roll that one. Okay, so real hit. And real hit and wound rolls. It's only for this weapon, so fives. Lucky. So three. Three? Mm, doesn't matter about Rand, even if you had it. Okay, I'm fine. And four more attacks. Three hit. Two wound. No ones. So we're good. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, so now my eels get to hit you back. So there's three of them. So it's going to be uh, seven attacks um, with the re-rolls here. Uh, so six. I mean, I guess this is the problem I'm with general guns. Yeah. I, I, like I think the best plus you can get to a roll is plus one. Yeah, that's one. what I was asking you before. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. But you can um, you can add more so than plus one. Four hits, no rend, for scimitars. Otherwise, I didn't roll any. I didn't roll any twos anyway yeah. in that whole time. Uh, one. So one one wound, and now the uh, bites. Two of them. They both miss, which is the big ones. Now two d three tail attacks. That's uh, five. Pretty good. Um, yes, re-rolling. All hit. Uh, four. No wind. No wind. Three. So three. So he takes four wounds all up. So Is that going to kill him? No. Close. No. What has he got? Five? He's going, uh, six. So he's, got, so he's got two left. No, but when he suffered four. Oh, when he suffered? Okay. Well, these guys are counting down. But it doesn't matter. No. Um, um, okay, so we've got one wound there. Right. So no, now you get to hit that. with those guys. So there are... So, so I, did the, I did this a little bit wrong. There's the last one, time, two, three, four, five of them left. The boss who gets two attacks hitting on threes. One hit. Wounds. Minus one round. Um, okay, so we established out a three plus, so this is going to be four plus. Nope, fails that. Takes one wound. Okay, so he's still alive. Other boys. Fours and fours. He's actually, no, he's, he's dead. Oh. I forgot to change that before. Um, he went down to one wound, remember? So yeah, he's dead now. I think I think even even if I didn't die from that wound, I think he would have done another two to me from the from the squigs. So unfortunately, this allopex does go down, which means I'm no longer holding that objective. But you didn't succeed in your tactics, which is is nice for me. So scoring, we did actually uh, screw up on the first turn. I actually did hold more at that time because I held the middle one. So I'm going to get an extra one for that. So I'm going to go to three. And the Gloom Spike gets, for this turn, get... Three. Three. You hold more and you also hold uh, two. two for the consecutive, two for consecutive turns. Two. So you're going to go to five. Yep. Unfortunately, not getting that tactic did hurt you a bit there. Um, okay, so we're going to go into Ideneth Deepkin turn two. Okay, so we did actually do a reposition here. Instead of going back behind this wall, thought we might be out of the fight a little bit too much there. So I decided to reposition to here instead. Ten from there. Um, and we did roll morale... On these roll guys two. and roll two, so it's fine. Uh, and my uh, battle shock here, I'm just going to spend a command point plus uh, just to automatically pass. Okay, so battle tactics. I'm going to pick ferocious advance, and that is going to be its allopex here, and this morsar guard unit, and then shailen guard unit. So they, if they run, they have to end within three of each other, and I'll get two victory points. Now this turn, 
It's flood tide, um, which means I can run and charge or run and shoot, but not both. Um, I am going to try and get generate an extra command point. I, I did get one this turn. Could be handy. I'm going to try and heal my boy there. Somewhat unlikely, but bravery, bravery on six. six. No. Um, so yeah, this turn I'm going to use this command point I just generated to try and rally um, with the Shaolin Guards. So if I roll six, I get one back. I don't. Um, I'm okay. also going to do a rally. So you're going to spend a command point so to five. try and rally these um, Gloom Spike Git Hopper guys here. Okay, so how many have you lost? Six at five. Five. Ooh, get two back. Two, back. two little boys bounce back. <laughs> She's quite nice. <laughs> Okay, so this first unit of a Shaolin Guard here, I'm going to roll my run roll. So that's a six. So those guys move from there to there. Now we're going to run on this Allopex. Two. Okay, it's going to be fine because I didn't move that far. So the Allopex is vacated to here. And now the final run roll for these guys here, which is a three, um, which is for this Morsar Guard unit here. Those guys are now vacated to here. And that's going to score us our two victory points, which is great. Um, now I'm going to run with this guy. Five. Reposition him. I'm also going to run with both the king and the Leviathan. So the Leviathan is the orange guy. So four and three respectively. We'll come back when they're moved. All right. So we've moved all of our uh, models now. So we took vacated this whole area. So I'm going to give up that objective, but we're probably going to lose it anyway. And we've basically just repositioned everybody's over here. Now, I can shoot and run and charge and all that, so hopefully I can get a charge on those squigs at the back. Um, but otherwise, I'm just going to be helping out these guys and maybe they can uh, they can stay alive for another turn. Okay, so shooting. We're going to put this uh, Allopex into this unit. All out defense! So, he's going to all out defense, yep. Uh, here on three, three rolling. And wounding on three. Now, two, at negative one. Four ups, one wound. Um, so one we, had a, we had a wound on one of these guys, so, so just, the guy up the front, yeah. yeah, it's fine. So we move one. Um, so now, this uh, shark, hmm, you know what? I'm not going to shoot with that shark because I think I might want to charge that one in particular. But the turtle is definitely not going to charge, so he's going to put all eight of his shots into these guys here too. Let's do a mix, mixture of dice now. Ooh, the mixture worked. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, and uh, three's the word. Ooh, that's good. Five at negative one. Four. Ooh. So two die. Two die. Where do you want me to take them? Back or front? Uh, front from... These two? Yeah. So two more squigs, only four left. So that's going to be a pretty tough battle shock. Unless he wants to spend a point for it. Um, now, I do not have any other shooting because I am choosing to charge with the other one. So let's go do the charge. The Alipex here is going to try and charge those squigs at the back. Um, so measure it. Seven. It's a seven. Five. It does not make it. Do I command point reroll this one? Um, yeah, I probably will. Let's try it. Four. So it doesn't, doesn't make it. Um, so now the Shailen Guard in the front. Uh, fails as well. Um, the Morsar Guard at the back. Yeah. Oof, they 11, get they get it. Um, and the Achillean King. He does not De make it. Definitely doesn't. So we get the Morsar Guard in the back, which is actually kind of the perfect unit. Okay, so these have charged through to here, and I've got two units to select. I've got um, the Shailen Guard here, but I think they can hold, um, and these Morsar Guards. So they're going to fight first, the Morsar Guards. We're just going to um, pile them in. So I'm going to pile in. I can't get within the objective, but I'm going to go like that. With all of them. Um, all right, so let's do the attacks Volk, for them. Yeah, two attacks each, threes and threes, um, but it's two damage and minus two rend on the charge. Get to re-roll. Another one. That's another one. And wounding on threes. One. One, so it's just two, two dead. 
They don't take away damage. Oh, okay, so one dead. Um, now the eels fight. Um, two hits. One. It's no rent on this. Nope, so that's D3. Uh, two, so another one's dead. And then their tails. Um, that is seven attacks. Not great so far. That's a bit better for rolling. Alright, so six saves. Or five saves. No rend? No, no rend. So <laughs> One save. So that's five wounds. It's actually four wounds. I only did five hits, so you saved with one. Oh, okay. Two, two dead. So two dead. That was pretty good. We didn't kill them all, but I think Battleshock's going to be quite cruel. They're immune to Battleshock. Oh, they're immune to Battleshock, okay. <laughs> um, and now you get to fight. I'm assuming you're going to pick your boy. guy here. Um, and do you have... So we've decided that I can't use the all-out defense on them because it's not going to give me an extra plus one. So I'm only ever going to get a three plus save. So um, we're not sure on the rule on that, but that's what we're going to play it. So five attacks, fours and threes. Three, and doesn't matter. Yeah, they all save. And then the gob. Two. Both wound. Okay, so one of them dies, so you only have one wound left. Oh, yeah. But that's okay. <clears throat> uh, and then, so I get to hit you back there. So we got four attacks with the scimitar. I get to re-roll those. Oh, my rolling's been pretty bad this turn. Oh my god. Okay. Um, uh, the bite. <laughs> D3 attacks. Two. Both hit. Uh, one wound. This is one save. Four up. You fail. How much is it? Just one wound? Yep. So he's, on, he's got one wound left. Yeah, that was a really, really bad rolling by me. Um, and now you can get attack with your squigs at the back there, so you want to pile them in? Um, yeah, I guess I guess I have to do that. Do I have to? You, well, you have to pile them with at least some of them. Well, you don't have to, but you might as well. It pins me back. You just pile them with those guys and you can keep the rest back there. As long as I'm still holding it. Yeah, you're still holding the ejector. How many are within? Oh, three. enough. Three, yeah? Oh, yeah, you get three, three attacks. Right, let's see what these little squeaky boys can do. Two attacks each. Fours and four. Fours and threes, sorry. Two. Two. Minus one ready. Okay, so we've just got a four up again. No, okay, fail. Two damage. So it's going to kill one. Wow, that was oh, pretty. It's two damage. Oh, two damage all up. Okay, so one of them takes two wounds. <laughs> So that's the end of the turn. We do have some battle shock uh, here. Yeah. They lost like. I'm going to spend a command point, point for the that. last point, so they don't they don't do anything. Uh, I did lose one there, um, and I am going to spend a point for him not to run as well. I think it's important enough because I'm going to strike first next turn, and I really don't want him running away just yet. Um, and in terms of points, I am going to score two for my tactic, um, and that's it. Um, no, you'll have. Yeah, that know. for two turns, and that for two turns, so you get two. Okay, so I'm going to get five, a four, or seven. So I'm going to go to seven, so seven versus five, going into uh, the next round, which is turn three, um, which is high tide for me, which is great, but let's roll for priority. Okay, you going to take it? Um, I'm... Not going to take it. Yeah, makes sense. Because then I can remove an objective marker. Right, okay. So um, that is, you get to do that now, right? Um, get rid of this the middle one. one. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to pick for the tactic. I'm going to try and take this objective here off um, my opponent. 
for an extra two victory points. Should be able to do that. With, the plan is to do that with my Killing King and the Alopex there. Um, really just mob those squigs and, and take over you that see objective. See if the moon moves as well. See if the moon it moves. moves. It moves, so it's in the middle. In the middle. So everything is under the light of the moon. Okay, so all the squigglies get extra stuff. Um, in terms of uh, command traits, extra command. I'm going to try and get an extra command point. I get it. I'm going to try and heal again. Let's see if we can get yeah. under six. No. No. My Kelly King here is also going to use his other command ability, which I can only really do on this turn, um, High Tide, and give those Morsar Guard plus one attack on all their attack profiles. Um, so that should ensure that I can kill enough of those squigs to take that objective. Okay, so movement. Had all my guys here. Now move this Alopex around to here to help killing these squigs and taking that objective. And the rest of them all moved over here. So we have the Levite on here, Shailen Guard, the Killing King, and the other Alopex there, which moved from over here. So we're just leaving that one, a Shailen Guard there, to try and take the last one wound off that boss. So shooting phase, first one, this Alopex into the Zill Squigs here. Um, hitting on threes, no re-rolls. Hits twice. Wounds once, negative one Ren, so, no re so you don't get a save, so it takes one damage. One wound. One wound on one of those guys. Now we're going to go over to uh, this Alopex here, and he's going to put them into these uh, the Boingers. So uh, same thing. This time we do get rerolls. Three hits and three uh, saves and the negative one round. Five. One wound. So one wound, um, and then we're going to put. Levite on all eight into um, the same the same squigs. Can you pass me another four dice, please? Ooh, we've got a mixture. A mixture. Don't curse them, don't. Let me hand. Don't hex them. Has come upon you. Now, well, it didn't do that well. This is average roll. Okay, so uh, five, negative one, and. This so time, two dead. Two. So that was pretty reasonable shooting. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now for charges. This is the, always the important thing and something that I seem to really have trouble with. So, this unit of a Shailen Guard into those um, squigs there. Now, this is a uh, minimum, minimum charge. So, they're going to get in. Um, and then I'm going to do the Achillean King. It's also going to get in with a seven. Um, the Alopex at the back there it gets in there with an eight, and we're going to try and put the turtle in. And I'll go ahead and move everything. I think that's about a seven or eight, and that's a ten. So if that's going to do it, I'll move these all in and then come back afterwards. So we have moved everybody in. The Shailen guard around the side, the Vide on here, Killing King there, and the Alopex just getting you know right into the stick of it because we attack first. Now I did forget one charge, and that is this Alopex over here, who has also got. Uh, minimum charge. He just gets it. Just gets it. So he's going to be able to sneak in around to here. Just flying over that obstacle because he can fly. All right. So here we have the Morsar Guard attacking the Squigs. Now they do have plus one to all of their attacks because of the uh, Kellyan King's command trait or command ability. So it's going to be 10 attacks with the Vault Spears. Not charging though, so they're not as good. And no rerolls. It's a good roll. Oh, wow. Uh, eight. So, yeah, there's no rent on those. So, you do get saves of six. So, that is um, eight saves. Saved one. So, so, one, two, three, and four, because there was one wounded. Four. Okay, so I'll hold off on that. I'll, I'll just do the rest of their attacks. Um, so, the eels now. They have six attacks with their bites. This is where I can get nasty. Uh, a few misses. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Make you save. No. Save. Saves it. Now, 3d3 uh, plus 3. So, uh, 2, th 3, four. so 4, so 7. Uh, 
No rerolls. It's only two wounds. Okay, so that is five. So no rend. So, oh, two, six, six, now the shark attacking there's them. Two more. So there's two more left. So hopefully the uh, Alopex can take them out. Because um, that'll be contested. I get six attacks with the guys on top. Oh, it will be. Because you're a counter-skew. Oh, I get all of them. You're a counter-skew Oh, okay. Well, you got to make five saves from the guys on top. That was very good rolling. It was like lots of fives and sixes there. That's four, so it's another two dead, so you've lost eight. And then the uh, shark gets to bite you. That's all. Okay. And the shark would have wounded three times and ran minus two, so that definitely would have killed you. So in the end, we do manage to clear those squigs out and take that objective. So that's going to secure us that extra point, which is really nice. Now we're going to go over to the other combat. So I do have a monster here in the, in the Leviathan, but... These yeah. squigs are all immune to any of the monster abilities that I could do. The, the ones that they printed the, in the um, beasts. But... Hunters of the Heartlands. But we do have um, the, the horn from the, the Deep Mare. The Deep Mares um, did do D3 mortal wounds uh, for two. One so that's going to kill one. Just want to take him off now. I'll do it later. Oh, right, right. Um, and then the Leviathan is the same thing on a two plus, which that doesn't succeed. So we'll just... Just remove, just remove one now. Um, before, because now we've got to pile in. So now, you know what? I'm going to go with my. Uh, we're going to do. We're going to do the. We're going to do the Achillean King first, I think, because we want a little bit of extra movement. Yeah. He's going to pile in. And do his attack. Okay, so um, four attacks uh, with the with the great sword. He is going to use his falchion, so he's not going to get the bonus to save. Um, and we get to reroll once to wound because of our um, relic or commander build. Bill gets to reroll ones. That's a hit anyway. It's a hit anyway. He always gets it. And now we also get to reroll ones to wound. Uh, so three, and that is a minus one rend on that for d3 damage each. So you save one, is it? So or do they have a five one. plus? They got four plus. Oh, four plus. Okay, so two d3 damage. So only two. Um, now the falchion is three attacks, threes and fours. Okay. Reroll that one. Nope. Um, now the deep mare is with its Fanged jaw, three attacks, threes and threes, minus one rend. Uh, yes. They all wound, so minus one, so fives again. So that's another three oh, wounds, wounds, just one wound each. And now one. the deep man's lashing tail is three attacks, threes and threes, and two wounds. Three hits. Does get to reroll one because of Futan. Um, so this is two saves at no rend. Or the other one, yeah, no rend, but two damage. Uh, so another two damage. So another one dies. There's one on one. Um, and now we're going to go with the Leviathan. So he's just going to pile in. We'll go to there. Um, and then we're going to do some attacks with him. So we're going to do the bites first to see if we can just finish him off with the bites. Because um, I only hit that one unit um, and then we don't have to roll a heap of other dice. Uh, both hit. Uh, it's a six to hit, right? Yep, yep. three mortal wounds. So it does three mortal wounds. That's on top of this, right? Uh, uh, no, you don't make a wound roll. For it. So just make one wound roll. That's all right. Wound. I rolled two, but they're both wounded. So the other one wounds. So then... So I've got a six save. Six save, yep. Oh, so they're all dead. So they're all dead. So the turtle mongles them all, and they're all gone. Um, and now I can so attack with the Ashelian Guard. So Ashelian Guard will be able to um, pile in. So we're going to pile in. Can you move this guy to here? This guy up to here. Um, they're going to get be able to get within one oh, to attack. I honestly think all the attacks on these squig hoppers. Let's try and kill them all. Well, this one won't be able to. That one would be it. You're right, actually. So we'll put, just so we can try and maybe kill him, we'll put two attacks on the, the, the character he here. He five plus four, so. I'll do that anyway. The, so the prince is this guy here, so he's actually 
not attacking that one, so that means it's going to be three six attacks. Well, that's actually on top of another die, so I have to reroll that. So three hits. Uh, no reroll of one, so wounds. So two two wounds. He so takes one, one, but now he gets a five plus ward save. So he just one. takes one damage. Now the bites from the eels. We get to re-roll. Yes. Two hits. Two wounds. Two saves. Two, no rend on that. They should, really should have a rend. <laughs> uh, and then the tails. Uh, so that's three attacks. Uh, one. You're already right. wound as well. Oh, yeah, you're right. Just one. <laughs> one, one wound. <laughs> Uh, Ward save. Saves. 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 Okay, so now the, the, the prince into the uh, squeak hoppers. So that's four attacks with his scimitar. Wow, they all hit. They all wound us. <laughs> Apparently when I like, like to hit, I like to hit with five and sixes. So that's the way. Maybe we should start playing orcs in 40k, right? <laughs> so four, six save. So one save. So three, so one dies and one dies. So one dies and one's on one wound, and now the um, the bite from the eel. These eels never do anything with their bites. Okay, so that hits, and it does wound. No random. Does not save, right? Uh, so two, two wounds for the bite, and then one d three. So two attacks for the tail. Uh, both hit, and one wound. Oh, I get to reroll that. So one wound. Does not save. So how many are we killing that? Three. Um, and now the Allopex, which I am going to all out attack. I should actually have three command points. I forgot to do that, so that's going to take me down to two. Um, so he's going to all out attack into these guys. Now, you have lost wounds, so I'm going to get the bonus on my bite. So six attacks hitting on twos from the guys on top. We roll them once because of all out attacks. So they all hit. Now wounding on threes. Uh, no rerolls there, so four. No rend. Saves two. Saves two. So one dies. Another one died. Dead. And now the um, shark. Uh, Reroll that. That was, doesn't matter. It's all out attack anyway. Um, and a wound. So negative two. And two damage each. Three. So another three dead. And now you can hit back. Obviously, it's not going to be. Uh, he's going to hit back. Yeah, back. exactly. Well, you squeak off as can as well. I don't want to pile them into you because I don't want to be in combat. Um, okay, yeah, I guess you can do that. Uh, so you're just going to hit back with the this little guy. We'll turn him around because it's cinematic. Yep. His friends got <laughs> absolutely <laughs> uh, savaged by eels and so sharks. So he's going to might as well use his red cat mushroom. Yep, so red cat mushroom. So let's wins. just roll him here because uh, you know so it's a bit more personal. Re-roll. Ooh, re-rolling. re-rolling. So we're hitting on fours, I'm assuming. Yep. Now winning on threes. Oh, we get to re-roll that. Red cap mushroom is real good, isn't it? Three. So three wounds, and I do have a three plus. Sorry, this There's is no a two range. plus because I charge on this turn. Um, I'll no range. So I'm going to take... One damage. One damage. Okay. And now little body bites. Fours. And threes. Three at negative one. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, nothing. There's a five there. So nothing there. I do need to remember to put one wound on um, those guys over there, which I will do right now. Yeah, these guys took one. And now we've got this this prince. Can he do the one one wound? Oh, sorry. I forgot. He should have attacked first. Oh, well, I attacked first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh. why That's why. Oh, he is. In the turn. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I did, we did both forget about it. So I'll do his attacks now. So four. He doesn't get re-rolls, so just only one with the scimitar. We just need to do one wound to him. Oh, yeah, I get... No, I don't get the reward with him. So now the bite. Come on. You can do it with the bite. Hits. Wounds. Failure save. 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 Um, D3 attacks with the tail. Three. That's what we wanted. Four twos. No. Reroll. Yes. Two wounds. Fail. 
Damn it! Thanks. All sixes! How are you still alive? Now, can I do some damage to you? Fours. Threes. Two. Two. And you end? Oh, it doesn't matter with that guy. Uh, he's dead. Doesn't matter, he's only got one more left. So that was unfortunate. But that um, that guy did last quite a long time, it was pretty good for us. So I'm going to transfer this wound over to um, one of those guys there. I'm going to spend... A point to keep those guys there? Yep. Um, yep, that's, uh, that's fair enough. So now let's do scoring for that. So uh, I'm not going to hold that one over there. Nope. Um, I am going to hold this one. Um, but that's it. But I am going to get my two points. So I'm just going to get two points for... And you hold this one too. I do. Oh yeah, I still hold it. You're right. So I get. So, so you, holding you, you, you hold two. two. So it is. So it's two points from the and then two tactics yeah, so points. Four. So four points. Yeah. So I go to eleven. So it's eleven plays five. Well, I've oh, taken. Oh, you don't actually. Sorry, because you've got to hold that for two turns. Two turns. But so I you still. Just get the one. Yeah, I just get the one. You're right. So ten. Yeah. So I, I've taken a bit of a lead here. Um, and the squig army, unfortunately, has been ripped to shreds a little bit, but this is kind of what we expected. Um, let's hopefully they can uh, do some work in this turn. All right, so uh, this is the, the back of turn three, um, and we have the command phase for the gloom spike gits. And what's your tactic going to be? That's going to be the one take a objective off me, objective. yeah, because I don't have anybody here. I still control it, but there's nobody there. That's going to be um, quite easy for you. On a four plus, I can bring back. Half my oh yeah, is. over there. So what's the it's placement within, with them? Within 12 inches of that, less, more than three from... Okay, so we're going to have a bunch so of bounders. So I might be able to take that objective. So, yeah. And you can, you can bring any unit back? Does it have to be battle line or...? Any, any, any squig unit. Any squig unit, nice. So four plus? Four plus. Oh, he's done it. You've so just rolled five, like a bunch of sixes in a row. I love it. Bounders. Five of them, eh? So it's like a minimum it, squad. It's, it's half the unit that got destroyed. Okay, so that's interesting. I mean, I'm not sure how much they're going to be able to do, but it's definitely interesting. Well, they're going to be able to take the subjective from it. Well, that's true. Because they can just set up here. So they're going to set those guys up there. Yeah, I am. And they're just going to sit there. Yep. <laughs> I mean, yeah, don't charge. Sorry, because I can't... You don't want to be in combat with me. I don't. On this turn, no. That's um, why everything's going to run away from it. Uh, okay, so my command uh, thing, I am going to just give myself a command point. Maybe I can use it for something. Nope. <laughs> And once again, I'm going to try and heal that boy there. Hmm. Can he finally do it this turn? He does. Yes, he gets... D3, is it? I think so. Yeah, let's roll a D3. Two. two. I think it's two. Uh, so he just goes back to three. He's going to use the command ability for plus three inches. Yeah. Any other command traits that you're going to use? No? Okay, so these guys are going to move three Trade movement. So they're going to use 3D6. And it is going to be enough to get him on top of that objective. This guy is also going to... Can he, can he run away? He's going to fall back. Yeah. Okay. All right. At the start and during the hero phase, they're going to they get to pick a unit. These ones are the ones that have no random, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, that's right. So I'm going to pick this unit. I need to roll is it equal to or less than the number of models in that unit. So a three or less, they take D3 wins. Okay. Yep. Yep. And they take... Three. Three wins. Okay. Exactly. They haven't taken any damage, roll. but... Yeah, you've so been, one's on one, yeah? one's on one, yeah. We'll, we'll put that there when we find a dice. So this guy's just going to swing off 36 for him. He's going to so he's going to fall back. Yeah. Well, and run. He's just going to go... A very long So one. 11. What? Uh, 12. 13. <laughs> I can't do maths. <laughs> I just saw the two dice there and I was like, 11. That makes sense. Wow. And jump over to In here In true as well. Gobbo fashion, he's going to he's put a line away. of... Things in front of him. Now, uh, what about these guys here? They're just going to huddle gonna on their objective, yeah, because they're there. doing their job. Um, and now, you've just got these guys over here, mainly the boss. What is the boss going to do? He's, well, he's, he can move 3d6 plus, so 4d6, because he can run and charge. Run and charge. And he gets the plus 3 to it as well. Yes. Because of his command. Let's, let's just see what happens. So that so is... 16, 17, 19. 19 inches. That's Quite a long a way. Very long so way. I'm thinking you might be trying to go over there. Okay, so probably going to try and take that thing. Even though I've already got it, I still. But yeah, you're securing it for just later. Fun. Um, okay, so. And this guy here. And that guy there, yes. He's going to do 3D6. So 
10, 13. At least we get to attack first. That's all I can say. <laughs> um, okay, so now charges. So you're not, you can't charge over here because you ran away. Um, but I'm not going to charge. You're going to charge here? No. No, you're not going to do it. So that's going to be the end. And now scoring. I hold that one. No, I don't hold that one. I don't hold any. Well, I do. Yeah. And I hold more. Yep. Yeah. So. So that's two. Two points. Yeah. Plus two for taking that one. So two so points plus nine. two, so on nine. Yep. All right. So what we're going does, into turn four, and we're going to see where, where the moon the moon goes. Go? Does it run away? It, it moves. Just goes into this. It or? moves over to the pointless corner. <laughs> now this is an important one because whoever gets to go first obviously gets to go first, and that's great. But whoever gets to go second gets to remove an objective. Um, so I'm not sure which, which one's better in th at this point in time. Well, <laughs> well, what are you going to choose to go first or second? I'm going to go first. Okay, so I'm going to remove objective, which, you know what, it's going to be that one right there. Okay. Um, I feel like this is probably just about to get overrun, uh, and I think I can take both of those objectives next turn. Uh, your tactic for this turn? It's going to be a tricky one, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, it is a tricky one. It's kind of where it starts to get hard. He's going to try try and do the uh, ferocious, sa advance. ferocious advance, and you're going to pick uh, this squig, the squig, squig knights unit, that guy there on the not the this one the here, guy, yep. and then those guys movement. Let's okay. do some rolling. What are you, who are you going to move with? So I do the ones by the rocks first. The ones by the rocks at the very back there. So, so the, and you add the run. You need to add the run to it. Yeah. Uh, we'll do the command abilities. I do plus three. So, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's a pretty... Uh, I'm not going to move the whole amount. That's yeah. Sort of yep, so you're going to just kind of move them into the middle. Now, do you want to do that boss over there? Yeah. Just, just roll here if you've got dice. Got yeah, me. that's enough. You can basically go wherever you want. And now, finally, these guys, well, you don't really have to roll, right? They can just get there, even if you'd rolled four. That was good. So that's going to secure you another point, which is which is on the two points, which is handy. Now, do you want to move um, your boss here? And there's three d6, and he gets plus three as well. So okay, six, so exactly, eleven. Yeah, so it's going to be exactly three inches from me. Three away from the alopex there. Now, what about over this side? You do hold it. You could just sit on there and make me come to you. I mean, I don't think they're going to do much else anywhere else. To be honest. Yeah, they're just going to sit there. So you're going to sit there. Um, and those guys are just going to huddle in their corner as well and do nothing, which is probably the best thing they should do. So we've got a really interesting battle here. Um, okay, so now charge. You just got to roll, not roll a double one there. What do you think I am? Okay. Isaac? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so so you go ahead and murder a poor shark. Let's see if uh, we can I, finally do it. I heard Flake's best had with, like, you know, battered and fried. He's going to eat his red cap mushrooms just to... Just because, just to make an example. And you know what? We're just going to bite the moon, add one to wound rolls. So this is only the rerolls on just these attacks. Oh, hold on. We need to do those command traits. I'm going to do the the heroic. Actually, I just don't need it. Yeah. I'm just going to try and get a command point for my guy. Yeah, he, did, he got one. I'm going to try and heal again. Let's see. No. No. Okay. Sorry, that little interlude. Now okay, you can so crush a shark. Hitting on threes, winning on fours. I didn't need to re roll anyway. It's a good roll. Winning on fours, this kind of sucks. But this is the guy on top, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so three. Man three. So I have any rent? No. So yeah, this is a four plus save. And you, you wounded me three times? Okay, so he takes one wound. One so wound, okay. Down to seven. Huge Fangfield gobs. So he's hitting on threes and threes. Minus one, so three. Two, minus one. Minus one, so fives. And this is the ones I need to save. Nope. 2d6 damage. Yeah, you're going to hurt. Six. Six. You've still got one left. Okay, well, the ball and chains, these are the uh, deadliest attacks it has. <laughs> it's crazy. So seven attacks. And more deadly so, than this. So charge there. Hitting on twos. The uh, you re there's another one there. Hmm? There's another one there. Yeah, it was a one. That's all. You were just grabbing it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, hit it winning on threes. Ooh, what's the negative round on this? Minus two. Alright, so sixes, and I have four of them. Three. Three, alright. I can do this. No! Nope. Takes. There's a low, immense amount of damage. Six, seven, eight. And this, uh, Alopex. I'm not sure killed it. 
<laughs> it wasn't wounded. A few all. times over. This Alopex, unfortunately, is an ex-Alopex. Turns into some tasty fish and chips. And then I boing nine inches away. And run away Boing. from the Morsar guard. Yep, fair enough. Um, okay, so that's the end of, of that turn. Uh, there's no battle shock to roll because everybody got destroyed. I was only one combat. Um, and scoring. So you've held that one for two turns, two turns now. And that one for two turns. And that one. And that one for two turns. So you're going to get one, two, three. I think you're going to get full three. three. Yeah. Because yeah. you hold more as well. And I did the thing, so that's five. Five, yep. Fourteen. Fourteen, okay. Um, so, I've got some catching up to do. Beginning of turn five, four. No, it's 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 the end of turn four. Uh, second half of turn four. I am going to select for my tactic to destroy battle line. We're going to pick those guys there in the corner. I mean, I could pick these guys. Maybe that's better. It's easier, right? Yeah, they're a battle line. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick these guys. That's way easier to do. Command phase. I'm just gonna try and get another command point for myself. No. I'm gonna do minus tower on him just in case you do charge them. Yep, okay. So plus one to save so and this guy's gonna fire tower on this guy. Yeah, plus one save and hits. Okay, so I'm gonna do some move. Okay, so we've repositioned uh, a bunch of our guys. So they're all here. The Kelling King's down here with the Aloe Packs ready to shoot and charge if we need to. Um, the Shailen Guard have gone over here. The Vidalin's gone over here. We're hopefully going to be able to charge in and kill those guys as well. And now I'm just going to do a run roll for these guys at the back here. Because um, we are going to vacate that area. I don't think there's a point in dealing with those guys quite yet. So six? Wow, it's a good one. So they were here. And now they're over here. It was a good run. A run of 20 inches. They won't be able to charge, but... I'm just kind of staying away from these angry squeaks. Okay, so the um, Levidon here is going to shoot... At the squigs there. Actually, the Alopex is going to shoot the squigs there first. So this Alopex here is going to shoot into those squigs. Squig hoppers. Three hits. Well, three wounds. And they don't have, they got a six plus save. So you don't get a save. So uh, it's three wounds. So it's two, oh no, yeah, no, one and a half. Because they don't have a wound. That, that guy's got a wound. The light on, can you even see any of the squigs you can, right? If you through the doorway yeah. and stuff, yeah. So he's going to shoot at the squigs there, because I'm pretty sure I can finish those two guys off with... So they have So yes. eight dice. No re-rolls, but man, I just, man, I'm just rolling really good sometimes with these, these shooting. When I roll good, I roll good. Like, look at that. Six, negative one. You don't get a save, right? Oh, you get a plus one, So because you're behind the cover. So you get sixes. If you can make one of these, you don't lose three guys. You did. So one. Two and a half. Two and a half, yeah. Okay, so now we are going to do some charges. We are going to charge with the Alopex here. He gets in. Um, the Achillean King. He also gets in. Now the Ashalan Guard. They get in. Um, and the Leviton. Everybody gets in to where they want to go. So, you know what? We're going to put him to here. And him to into, into there. We are going to move the Shalen Guard in. Um, and then the turtle is just going to. So we can actually just move him around to there, yeah. And he's still he's still he's in the, the objective. Um, okay, so let's do. I have to pick units first. Um, I'm pretty. think that they're okay. They got really good saves. Um, I'm not going to die. So I think we go with um, the Killian King. But he's got his wing mare, uh, it's the, uh, sorry, the deep mare's horn. Yep. D3 mortal wounds. This might just do them. Two. It's one wound left. Um, okay. So piling in. We're actually going to pile in. So we can attack that guy as well. We're still going to be base to base with him. It's just the die in the way. Um, so we're going to put... Falchion attacks, sorry, the great sword attacks. We're not going to use a falchion into this squig, um, and then the shark, sorry, the, the deep man's going to go into your character. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's gone. Um, yeah, so spiky, right? We can fix that up later. And now the deep man, he's got three attacks with his horn. Hit. 
And one wound. It is a negative one wound on that, I'm pretty sure. Cover plus one. So he's got Yeah, negative one. Okay, so he takes one damage. And he's got a ward, ward save. save. So take the so he takes one. And now the other one is two damage, but no rend. All hit. Uh, two wounds, so no rend. Perhaps. One. one uh, and that does, a, does two damage, yep. Fives. So it takes one. It takes another one. Um, now you can pick. Are you going to pick that guy so yes. I don't kill you with the shark? Yep. <clears throat> Sorry about the background noise, but it's fine. So five attacks. These are fours and threes. Oof. You get plus one. Oh, yeah. So one. Um, on to who? The king. The king, yep. Yeah. Um, so he's got a three. He's got a. He's got a three plus. Yeah. He's fine. Oh, he's got minus one to hit him. Doesn't matter because of my uh, my thing. Okay. So these are head on fives. Yeah. So, oh, one. One wounding. Wounds minus one round. He does take one wound from that. Takes D three wounds. D three wounds. One wound. <laughs> Told you it was one. And then that's is that him? Alright, so now the attacks Levite on there into the squig. Now we're gonna do our impact hits first, because we didn't do that for them. Um, okay, so D3 damage. Three. Ooh. So he stomps on one. Two. Two. Now let's do the attacks for the um, the bite. So you can do stomp with them actually, if you want it. What does that do? Hit the rampage to do another D3 models. Okay, I'll do that oh, after yeah, I do the bites. Well no, that's it just at the start of the monster abilities. Okay, so I'm gonna. Well, I'll, I'll resolve these bites because I've rolled them to hit. They both hit. They both wound. Uh, so you're gonna take 2d6 damage. Seven. Okay, so two plus a d3 model wounds. Nope. Um, but I did seven, another seven to you. So that's another three. So three and a half. Um, okay, so now we do uh, the guys on top. Six attacks. Threes and threes. Uh, I'm going to just state this now that I'm going to all out attack with the turtle. I mean, I, I would have done it with him. Um, so this, this will hit. Um, they don't get to re roll. So three. Uh, no round on this. And cover, so five. So only, so one more because you had a floating wound there. Okay, so now the fins. Four attacks. Uh, no re rolls. Um, Wound with two, um, and that is negative one rend. So you get a six, and that'll finish them off. The last two. Four. So the last four. So the Australian Guard do not need to um, attack, and the squigs don't get to hit back, unfortunately. So that's the end of that turn, and now I'm going to score quite a few points because now I've got. I hold two, I hold more than you. So it's one plus another two for the other thing that I did, so that's three. Oh, actually, sorry, I've got to do this, uh, the, the shark here. He's going to pile in and try and kill your general. Um, but the scoring's not going to change. So six guys on top. We do get rerolls of one on this because the king's nearby. I'll hit. Um, and rolling a wound. Uh, yeah, so five. No rend. So, so he's, uh, three plus. Yeah. Ooh, so three wounds, and now you got your ward save. So that's three wounds. Does that uh, kill him? No, what does he got? Yes. It does kill him. Okay, six. Um, okay, so now we're going to go into turn five. Oh, so he gets Let's see who gets to go first. You won every one of these rolls, yep, again. I'm going to choose to go second, so I can remove a objective. An objective, yep. I'm going to remove this one. Yep. Okay. Okay. So we're going to pick. The tactic is going to be to get two units into uh, my opponent's deployment zone, um, and what we're going to do is we're actually just going to move those eels back into there. They're already in it. Uh, they're already in it. So we're going to do some other movement around here afterwards because it's going to be a very close game, and I think the Ideneth might win it on the grand strategy. Um, but I'll just move some things away, and then we'll make a couple of rolls for the squigs to see if they can somehow prevent it. So we have moved these two guys back in the deep into the deployment zone. I'm gonna roll a run for um, the, these Australian guard here, one. So with the, even with the one, it's so 15 inches to there. So they're within six and also contesting that objective just in case the mangle squig 
does somehow get over here. Um, now we're just going to move these guys back. The general has moved all the way back to here because he could coward. kill him oh, and coward. that would be bad for us. We have to keep coward. him away because his grand, his grand strategy was to kill but yeah. So he's been cowardly at this, but tactically cowardly. He's a coward. <laughs> and um, the Alopex has just moved back a little bit. Now, at the end of this turn, I am going to score three points because I've hold, held this one for two consecutive turns. And I also get two points for the strategy, which is going to take me to 15. Ah, sorry, 16. Yeah, there you go. So 16. So now, really, the only way... This is going to come down to grand strategies, which mine was to keep my Leviton alive, and he cannot be touched back there. So I'm going to get three extras from that. Now, the Gloom it's Spike Git... Ooh, Ooh, it's it does get squeaks. Oh, Gloom Spike Gits, their grand strategy is to kill my general here. Um, so he's not going to be able to get that. But he might be able to get to that objective and score a few more points to make it a closer game. So we're just going to uh, see if that happens, um, and then we're going to call it down. It's probably going to be a victory, a very narrow victory for the Ardeness. We'll see what happens in the end. So we've got some, some more squeak hoppers. No, these, these are, are the knights. Oh, they're just squeak hoppers, yeah. So five squeak hoppers down there. So that shrine's done some pretty good work for you. And if there was more objectives on the board, that, that would help a lot. But because we've been removing them so aggressively, excuse me, um, it obviously so, hasn't helped. There you go. Doing their three inch move. Yep, three plus three to everything. So they'll go. I'm also going to pop strategy to give my general plus one to hit and saves, just in case somehow you would get to it. He's going to be very heroic in his cowardice. <laughs> Those guys. There's my two. Yep. Or my three, I guess. So you're still holding that objective. Yeah, now we're just going to try and the two run. bosses. So really, he's got to roll incredibly good to get some extra points out of this. Uh, you never know. So let's roll so it. So forty-six. Roll it. Actually, I'm going to spend a command point for an extra six. So he's got. So he's going to run automatically. To okay. So you really should have been blue here, so you could run fast like Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Unfortunately, that doesn't do it. And you can't re-roll that, can you? No. So it's going to be eight plus six. Yeah, fifteen. So he gets to there, and then he's out of range to charge. So he's not going to be able to make it to that objective. Oh. Well, that was a better roll. But yeah, so that's going to do it at the end. He's got to be like... And these squigs can probably charge in, but I don't, I don't know if it's probably not worth their lives. So in the end, you are going to score another one point for that. So that'll take you to 15. Plus two. Plus two, because so you've run your guys into my deployment zone, so 17. And you're then grand the grand strategy is going to pop me up to 19. So that was really, really close. And it was only through the grand strategy that I was able to win. And there is a 19 on this somewhere. There it is. Boom. So at the end of the game, 19 for Ideneth, 17 for the Squigs, and a really close one. Um, we were just talking off camera that if... Hindsight's twenty twenty, right? But if he if he'd taken the yeah, keeping the monster the same grand strategy as I had, he would have won this game by one point. It was super close. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and that was a fun game. The handshake, just because it's cool. The squigs and the two bosses trying to hunt down the cowardly Ideneth. They did do a lot better this time. And then we have some turtles and eels hiding in the back. From these little squigs, so yeah, very cool game. Squigs showing up this time. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.